this, you know, Iranian filmmaker right. who would come here? I'm just curious, like, what kind of working condition was it working on, on Samurai Cop? Did you get the sense <laughs> that he did? Just, you, did you ever hear the story? No, because I've told this a number of times. I've told this in LA. I mean, first of all, Amir, I call him like a, uh, a lovable tyrant. <laughs> you know, he was, uh, he knew what he wanted. Obviously, he didn't speak the language well, but he wanted his words spoken. Right. We, we couldn't deviate like we could do in this one here. We can make, you know, make our own language come out. How we spoke. He wanted us to say the words that he'd written. And that's what we had to do. So had he just seen like Lethal Weapon one time? <laughs> just yeah, I heard that he saw that one summer and that's when he got this <laughs> And also again, like, I, like how I got hired. And again, I was relatively new to LA at that point in time. And um, you know, basically, you know, I, I was driving around and I went to this house and I've never had an audition in a house before, so I had something right in for me that this was gonna be a little odd. Because usually you know, you go into a casting office. So I'm there, I go in, and then I meet Amir. I think Matt was just hired a few days before me. And Matt's tall, I'm tall. And so I think he just put those two things together. I did not read, I did not audition. I just spoke with him for a few minutes, and he looked me up and down, he said, you're Frank Washington. We're shooting tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how it started. Yeah, back there. What was the reception after the first movie? Well, uh, the reception for the first movie? Well, I, you know, we just, I, I, I didn't know anything about it. In fact, I never saw the, I never saw this, the first movie. I saw it for the first time yesterday. You saw it for the first time? You didn't even see it? I think how I got a copy of this because Amir just never gave us a copy. He just strung us along and he said, You know, you're in California now, you have to have some tape on yourself, some film on yourself. But he never, he never got the film. So after about 25 years later, a band who is really a great band, him and his guys, they get together. They've been getting together every Friday night for like 10 years and they watch Samurai Cop One every Friday night. They know every word. And so he got a hold of me and I said, Well, wow, man, I guess you really like it, Jesse. I said, Well, I've never seen it. So then he sent me a copy. That's how I got a copy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right. So, um, in the first movie, there was like these random scenes. They were perfect. Like they made the movie amazing. So, like for instance, like in the last fight scene with the uh, evil samurai, uh, was that Robert Zadar? Which one? Which one? Yeah. When the, fir the first one? The first one. Yeah, that's that's Robert Zadar. Yeah. yeah. So in that fight, like it goes from like almost like a forest scenery to like half like a desert. Okay, that's not Robert Zadar. No. Uh, I'm talking about like the- Jump Lumber, his, his hair changes. Yeah. Yeah, and like- When he pulls the, the, pull the wig off? Is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. the, the shot where the continuity is all screwed yeah. up, right? Yeah, because yeah. clearly those were pickup shoots, you know, yeah. like half a year later or something like that. Am I right? I know what you're talking about. But you can tell it was pick up. I mean, like sometimes I'm, I'm in a, a blue blazer, and if you remember this, the scene in the first one where, where, where the guy gets up, where he's on, he's on fire, he's on fire. Yeah. I'm in the car, I have a blue blazer on. By the time I'm going to pick, when I get out of the car, I have a gray blazer on. <laughs> so stuff like that. <laughs> he just put it together. His job was to get the movie out. Awesome. And that's what he did. I have to ask, how did you guys get the blonde hair? Was it just being in the business? We have some fans that I think are in Oregon or Seattle or something. Yeah, they did. Yeah. There's really loyal fans to this. I, I, I hear from people 